time here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Just uh, doing a little demo on the um, gorgeous global impasto paints, acrylic paints. Um, today I'm going to be using the Dark Sea, one of my favourites. And this gorgeous pear, which I think will go nice together. Also I'm going to throw in some fluoro yellow, might sound a bit out there. But, you know, you'll try it. I'm going to put in some of the metallic lavender. So I'm going to mix that on camera so I can show you. And the white. And I am mixing them with the global clear glue at 70-30. I've pre-mixed this. I poured it all into my measuring jug and pre-mixed it 70-30. And then I've poured it back into this container so of course I'll use this that I've got left in my mixing bowl first um, but I just want to show you that is just the paint in there at the moment I haven't added the pouring medium so I will just put my paint into the cup so I don't measure anything so I just eyeball everything I suppose that's about just a bit less than an inch of paint in the bottom of my cup and then I'll do the same with the metallic lavender which is gorgeous so this seems that the metallics often come ooh, a little bit runnier than the impasto uh, well they're all impasto but they seem to be a little bit um, yeah runnier this is just that's that's how it is <laughs> um, so I'll just put my lids back on there so I just want to mix one or two colors up in front of the camera so as I can show you and then I'll mix the rest up speedy 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 so I'll just pour in so it's 50% 50, uh, 50 color and 50% pour, uh, pouring medium so what I my homemade pouring medium and then just give it a good stir. Now I'm not adding anything to this paint. I'm not adding any silicon. I'm not adding any Floetrol. It is just simply the global paints and the global clear glue, which I've pre-mixed as discussed. So that's 50-50, but that's still very thick for um, a fluid art pour. So you just then just slowly add to the consistency you require. If you're doing like a Dutch pour where you're blowing the paint, then it's a very, very runny consistency. So you would just add a water, a bit more water. Um, if you're doing like my balloon kisses and swipes, it needs to be, just leave a little trace on the top of your paint. So that's probably just about right. So I will add the rest of the pouring medium. So I'm just going to pour it 50-50 at the moment. So 50% paint, 50% the homemade pouring medium. And if I need any more, because it's better to, yeah, it's better to add less and then just uh, add the extra as you need it rather than adding too much at the beginning so I'm just going to pour that in there I always seem to well I definitely always when I'm first making up my glue and water mix I add warm water it seems to make the mixing process easier and it just works better for me and also to use uh, distilled or filtered water not water that's got chlorine or fluoride in it I always find better results with um, if it's free of those things so they are gorgeous color I will get mixing 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 okay uh, paints are all mixed I've got them to the consistency that I believe is right for doing a, a swipe technique so I just move my here over a little bit so I've got this nice oval canvas and I'm gonna get in doing these lovely colors so wish me luck wish me luck 
So I might start off with the lovely pear. So this is, you see it leaves a fine trace. So this would be way too thick to do a, um, a Dutch pour or to kind of blow the paint. But for what I'm doing, it should be perfect. So I'm just going to do the wiggles on my canvas. Just a style that I love doing. It looks like a real mess to begin with and I know lots of people always say oh what on earth is she doing with this? But hopefully, fingers crossed, it will turn out really lovely. So this is the um, metallic lavender. I don't think I've used this colour before but hope, hope that it's um, going to go well with my colours that I've chosen. So again, I'm just wiggling it in here, where my edges, it's beautiful, beautiful colour. Okay, I'll add some white. This is a little bit thicker, I probably just might add a little bit of water maybe, let me see how. Sometimes if it's too thick, it won't give you a nice uh, swipe because obviously the paints are... Put it round the edges so I can have paint then to tilt off. Okie doke, and now for this dark sea. This is such a lovely colour. And the wiggles again. So hopefully make all of it pop. that there for a second and now I'm going to the fluoro yellow it's gonna be bright might need your sunglasses okay just get to that stage and then just give your paint a gentle tilt around your canvas just nice and relaxing just enjoy the process because it's um, it's partly what this is all about is the art therapy of it all sort of um, very therapeutic I find so just a nice gentle tilt so you're tilting the excess paint off over your edges so you get your edges nicely covered to also get in your canvas paints rolling over one another it's all um, what's going to go towards the end look of it all so okay, you can just tap it with your fingers on the very edges to check that you've got your paint everywhere your canvas nicely covered which that's gorgeous I did put every colour in there, didn't I? Yeah. And now oh, I have got a cloth. Didn't think I'd got my cloth. So what I want to do with this, I want to give it a swipe. Um, I'll just give it a whiz over with my heat wand. Just get rid of the air bubbles. Just a quick... With over with the heat wand, I am actually going to go back in and swipe with the deep sea. So I just put a line, just a thin line down the center, as you see, and then I'm going to get a piece of soft plastic, soft plastic file divider. This is just the soft plastic file divider, which I'll use it to swipe. So I'm going to start at there, just just let the tip, very tip of your file divider touch the paint and then just bring it just nice and slowly towards you. Wipe off your um, swipe tool in between each swipe so you don't get the paint muddy and just continue on with that same process. I know these colours are going to be delicious. Just the very tip in your paint. There we go. Okay. So you might turn the whole canvas around. It's just easier for me that way. 
Rightio, look at those colours. Just cleaning your soft plastic file divider in between here. Yeah, it stops any colours from going muddy and, and then just the same process again. Just, just dip the very tip. Bring it nice and slowly towards you. one little swipe here just enjoying the process I'm not worried about those bits uh, it looks very St. Patrick's Day-ish doesn't it lots of green in there greeny tones but gorgeous now for the heat one and hopefully some magic happens So what that, that heat is doing is just taking the air bubbles up and it helps if you want cells in your work. There is not many cells coming up in this particular um, mix. Remember I've got no nothing else in it except the paint and the glue mix. Um, when I mixed up all the vibrant colours last week, the reds and orange, I had heaps of um, lacing came up but not so much this time so I'm not quite sure why but that's absolutely fine that can be just a pour all on its own if you're you know wishing to keep it that way that looks quite attractive but of course I love to use my balloon so you know likewise color I'm going to use my balloon in this particular pour so I'll start off see what I can get wow gorgeous you could put this balloon kiss I call it onto a, a separate canvas because that's really gorgeous so I'll just oh wow look at that it is gorgeous it is usually better to walk away and let the paint absorb into the canvas and um, come back and balloon kiss it and then you'll get even better results than those so that looks quite pretty as it is absolutely fine and I just absolutely love the colors so I'm gonna balloon kiss it everywhere I often leap only do a few bits of balloon kissing but I love this so much I'm gonna balloon kiss it in other areas but sometimes when you put a lot of pale colors on you see you don't get the balloon kisses uh, the the effects come through as nice so you need a lot some of the contrasting colors so, so when you press down look I've got a lot of that um, pear under there that's coming through so I should have added maybe a little bit more of the um, deep sea but that's okay you can fix it up you can either add a bit after but look at those colors absolutely gorgeous well, it's got a bit of the dark on it so I might dip it in the lighter area that's gorgeous I'm happy with that um, the lacing is coming up through it I'll give you a close-up on that and see what you think okay here it is a little bit closer i think i'm going to let it dry off some more and then come back in with the balloon kissing again when the paint's dried off it's given a very kind of muted background not sort of the lacy cells that i got with the reds and pinks and oranges last week oh i've got a tortoise head or something there but yeah, it's kind of given a different effect. So I might have to try the 
reds and oranges but overall it's very pretty look at those colors that is absolutely gorgeous gorgeous thank you so much for joining me as usual please take care have fun with your paints just enjoy and relax remember your art room your rules your way and until tomorrow bye for now